beautiful thing that she wanted to do. I say that I say, and I speak that Isaiah 43. That forget the former things, forget the past, see the new thing I'm doing. Can you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and I will make a spring in that uh, wasteland. Yes, Lord, a wilderness, you'll make a way. That wasteland, Lord, you'll make a spring. Spring, Lord. I claim that in the name of Jesus. And Amelia was an incredible servant of God. She loved Jesus with all her heart and she served him with every part of her body. She loved to worship, she loved to just express her pure love for her Saviour. On behalf of the Baptist World Alliance, we want to thank God for her life and for the impact she had over thousands. As a humble woman, she would be so surprised at the effect that she had on so many people but so many have expressed their love for her and their appreciation of her leadership and her life. She's a humble leader, never one to push herself forward, and she has served diligently and served faithfully and been a friend to myself and a friend to many. We praise God for her life and we celebrate her today. Dear Sister Amelia and your family, I celebrate with you today as Amelia has gone home to be with her Lord and Saviour. She will be remembered forever. When I think of uh, my sister Amelia, I think of one word, joy. She just exuded the joy of the Lord through her dancing, through her big smile, through her worship, through her passionate prayer through her loving support for those around her. She has always been a great cheerleader for me and I will miss her desperately here on earth and look forward to the day we will dance in heaven. I thank God for all that she has done, that she ran the race well and now the Lord can say, well done, good and faithful servant. We will miss you sister. We love you and we're praying for everyone there. My name is Maureen Sharp and I'm the Executive Director of Baptist World Alliance Women. Amelia served the world of Baptist women for several years as she was one of the officers of BWA Women. Women around the world are mourning together with you in the passing of this amazing woman of God. What a blessing it was to know and to work with Amelia as our colleague. She was so full of life and so full of love for everyone she encountered. Her smile was as captivating as her heart. Her lively stories, her powerful prayer life, her evident love for her God and her dancing before him were so much a part of, of who she was. She was such a faithful servant of God as she ministered to women in her sphere of, of influence and all over the world. She had a particular concern for rural women, feeling that they were too often overlooked. And her commitment to minister in rural era, areas gave feet to her this passion of hers. We will always remember Amelia's love of life and her dance was just so much a part of that. We love to watch her as she loved God with her whole being, body and soul as she danced before him. The most moving time I recall is when she joined Esther and Kelly's dance at the closing of the Quinquennial Conference of the Baptist Women of the Pacific there in Fiji. It moved me to tears as, as God flew through flowed through her and all of her daughters as they culminated that wonderful conference. Amelia's legacy will continue not only through her memory, but through her three strong daughters as they, as you, continue to shine Jesus' love to a world that so needs it, just as your mother did. Please know that women all over the world are standing with you these days, praising God for her life and holding you up in prayer. Psalm 84 says, happy are those who can live in your house, always singing your praises. I know Amelia is there, finally, before her God and King, singing and dancing before his throne like never before. That is what brings me consolation in my grief these days. May God continue the work he began through her, 
through all of the lives that he has touched while with us. On our end, Amelia's death feels like an irre irreparable loss and defeat. My heart goes out to her husband and her beautiful daughters as they daily experience the emptiness. But my dear friend would not have seen it as loss. She would say, as she did in our meetings, the Lord knows best. The Lord is in control. Let's pray for his glory in this thing. Many times her optimistic faith made us push forward in our Global Baptist Women's Board meetings. She lit up any space with her laughter, and God listened to her prayers. We knew immediately, for instance, that Amelia prayed for snow when the snow blizzard Stella hit New York City in March of 2017. But I just prayed for a little snow on top of my hair, she admitted, enjoying the full experience of snowballs and snow angels and the deep, unavoidable slush God gave her as a full experience. Swim all around, she cried as we pushed through Manhattan's avenues to the UN. Amelia was very serious around work and in particular around the Word of God. Somewhat shy when she stood up to speak, but once she got going, there was power, and I love to remember her in that teaching pose. I've learned from Amelia about the joy and play of life, even in serious business. It's God's world, and we just need to enjoy the gift. God cared. I imagine, I can't imagine why God took her from us so fast, except for one reason. He needed her to, as Isaiah says, beautify the place of his sanctuary. But I know that now her greatest prayer is granted to the fullest, and that the Lord is her everlasting light, and he is her glory. My prayers are with the family, especially uh, and her sisters in Fiji, but with all of us, as we remember and miss her. Hello, my name is Dr. Bernard Union Sun. I'm president of Asia Baptist Women Union. It is with great sorrow to learn that our good friend Amelia is no longer with us. She was a very good and close friend of mine, and we met together frequently during BWA meetings or during ABBF meetings. We were very close and we get along very well. I will never forget our experience in Bahamas when we went shopping together and we had a good ride on the bus. She is a good friend to Abu and she will be sadly missed, always smiling with a flower in her hand. We miss you, Amelia, but we know you are in a good place. May the Lord be always a family, holy family during this difficult time. Thank you. My name is Ingrid Subagio. I am from Indonesia. On behalf of Indonesian Baptist Alliance, and especially Baptist Women of Papua, which Amelia visited several times, we would like to express our deepest condolences of the depart of our dear sister Amelia Gavidi. For us, she is a very friendly person. Wherever she goes, she always brings joy to everybody around her. For me, she's like my own little sister. Our family is her family in Indonesia. We always had fun and enjoyed our ministries every time she came to Indonesia. She is a very noisy and yet very happy little sister to me. I missed her already. We always chat via messenger almost every week, every three days. And we always share our joy.
joy and our sorrow. The last time she said that she is preparing for her daughter's wedding and she was so excited and so happy. I am so happy also for her. But now I miss her already. We missed her a lot. But we are happy that she is with the Lord now, whom she loves dearly. God will comfort you, Mr. Jugafidi, three dearest girls and son-in-law. One day we will see her big smile again when we meet her in the presence of the Lord. I love you, dearest little sis. My name is Tony Raymond, a member of the Australian Baptist Women's Team, and I wanted to pass on my love and prayers to Amelia's family, her husband and children today. Um, my memories of Amelia will always be ones of joy-filled, faithful service. Amelia gave her heart to the Lord in everything that she did and served him wholeheartedly and served others. And I'm sure that she is dancing in heaven right now. I have wonderful memories of Amelia's joyful dancing and uh, her praise of the Lord Jesus always. And I'm sure that's what she is doing right now. Um, but my um, thoughts and prayers are with those who are there today who would be grieving um, for the loss of our beautiful sister. God bless you. Bye bye. On behalf of Papua New Guinea Baptist Women, it is an honor to speak today about our beloved sister Amelia. Although we wish we were together having fun in fellowship and worshiping God, laughing and having fun together, instead of a funeral service today. We all know that life isn't fair sometimes. It's not fair that Amelia was taken from her husband and her three beloved daughters. Amelia is one of our many godly fearing women we could list, add on the list, who were not related to us by blood, but who were connected through the blood of Christ and who went out of her way to encourage many Papua New Guinea women or sisters, as well as our Pacific sisters. You may never heard of Amelia Gavadi, but the Lord knows whose but the Lord knows whose are is, and we know that our life will not be the same without Amelia Gavadi who have gone to be with the Lord today. And there are many more sisters in Christ still living whose sweet fellowship in Christ means more to us than ever and who have fulfilled the promise of Jesus Christ that in his kingdom we will receive many times and more as we live on just like our sister Amelia did. And it is this hope through Jesus Christ that we look for the day to see our sister Amelia again. Sister Amelia, may you soul rest in peace from our soul, our sisters from Papua New Guinea, as well as sisters of the Pacific. Sister Amelia, see you one day. Good morning, everyone. We Baptist women of Papua New Guinea send our warmest condolence to Sister Amelia's immediate family. Sister Amelia is a very strong woman in her faith. She loves God, she loves people, and she has a heart to 
extend God's kingdom here on earth. And I have done ministry with her. Sister Amelia, we love you. May you rest in eternal peace. No matter me or when you give me. Why so soon? It's been a heartbreak since we heard that you leaving us. But we thank God for your service, that you have touched many lives of many women. And the legacy that you left will be always be remembered. I remember the time you visited us in Vanuatu. And we cross over from Santo to Malo by boat. It's a rainy day, but we made it to go over and share the gospel with the women in the island. We all miss you, but thank God we'll meet you in heaven. Baptist woman, Vanuatu. Hi, Malolele. My name is Shoy. I'm from Tonga. Um, Sister Amelia Kaviti was one of the unforgettable person to me. Her life pictures the gospel of Christ to others. Um, additionally, she was a faithful, humble, and kind, also loving. Yeah. And she was a happy woman. She served God for many years and her role model of being a good leader wakes my mind up. And serving God is not just reading a Bible, but serving others in godly life. Unfortunately, she's like a mother to me, encouraged me, helped me when I'm failed. And I'm sure how she really wanted me to stand up and serve God. Join mine, I'm still young and weak, but God is in control. The last time I had been um, so she can meet my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Even though she's gone now, um, I no longer see her with my eyes, but I feel her in my heart forever. And I know she was ready for her calling from above to accept her reward. And rest in peace, Amelia Gaviti. See you soon again in heaven. And regard to her three daughters and the husband um, in this hard time. Love you.